These are sensors on the top. Here you have power, electricity, and wi uh, right there. And then if you hit play, it'll actually show you the time lapse. And this is exactly what it's going to do. For Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, what you see in front of the camera right now is Bloom Sky. And there's a weather lab that you can purchase and put outdoors and pretty much monitor every little bit of weather information that you want to, to, to monitor. This has got to be one of the best weather stations on the market. Uh, if you're a weather buff and you're really into the weather, then this is a great weather lab for you. So we're going to unbox it, but not live, but I'm going to show you what it looks like, what you're going to get when you order the full package. Um, this box right here, welcome to the weather Lucian. This is the full-blown uh, unit. Basically, this is the lab itself. Um, this is the outdoor station, as they put on here, um, and then you can see all the information about it. Uh, it does have apps in the App Store, Google Play, um, iOS, and this runs on only 2.4 gig Wi-Fi. This has to be in range of a Wi-Fi. That's the only caveat. So if you're going to put it outside, you're going to make sure you've got Wi-Fi signal so it can get there uh, and communicate. It says your weather, your sky, and that's really uh, all on the box, but then you can see his app camera. Yeah, this does time-lapse video of the sky. Is that not cool? Temperature. Precipitation, humidity, barometric pressure, and UV levels. Oh, is that not cool? The only thing this does not do is wind. No wind. Then that may be a future part coming. So we'll, we'll unbox that get this all laid out. The next box you're going to see here is if you don't want to just mount it in the ground with a stake, this gives you an option to mount it on a fence, a deck railing, um, some options here that's just kind of a clamp uh, type mount. So you can see this says mounting. So again, you can just stake it in the yard or you can mount it somewhere. And how is this powered? Well, how about a nice solar panel? Yes, this thing is solar. Uh, so you don't have to run electricity, you don't have to worry about the battery dying on it and trying to keep it charged out in the middle of the yard or anything like that. Uh, it has its own solar juice panel here. So I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to get this all unboxed, and then we're going to get it set up and we're going to look at its features. So we'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, welcome back. We've got everything unboxed, except we kind of left the solar panel in the box because it's so big and I just wanted to just leave it there. Uh, so this is what you're going to get. All three boxes, this is everything you see in the box. This is the mounting kit. It comes with some screws and then kind of a mounting uh, clamp type mount here, as you can see. Very, very sturdy. Uh, again, the other option, this comes with the actual lab itself, so if you don't want to buy the mounting kit separate, this is the stakes, so you would stake this into the ground. Again, this is included with the actual lab, so you don't have to get the mounting bracket if you don't want to. Uh, also with the solar panel is another option. Uh, as you can see, this is a big solar panel. Let's get it into frame here. As you can see, uh, uh, that thing is a monster solar panel. And uh, so this actually will plug into your power uh, slot on the lab. Now this again, this is optional. If you don't have a spot where you can run electricity, then this can be solar powered. Now this is uh, AC brick here with uh, an adapter. It does come with the weather lab. So again, if you want just the weather lab, you can buy it without the solar panel, without the mounting bracket, and you can actually have to run electricity to it. You won't have that solar option, so you got to provide the juice. Okay, all that stuff there optional. This is what's included with the actual lab. So again, if you want to just go and buy the lab, you can't. You don't have to worry about these other items. So let's look at the actual lab itself. There it is. Very very cool. These are sensors on the top. Here you have power, electricity, and Wi-Fi indicators. You have a camera which is a very, very nice, um, got a, kind of a almost a 360 degree view of your sky. So you're going to get some footage every day, time lapse of what the sky looks like. And it does have some photo cells on it. We'll get into more of the, the specifications and details of this uh, as we progress through the video. Uh, we flip it over here on the back. Again, there are some more uh, stuff in the back here just to kind of have weather protection. Um, some more sensors, looks like a little battery indicator or something here, I can't really tell. But again, uh, this is where you're actually going to plug it in. 
There's your juice, power it on, and connect to your Wi-Fi. Okay? Very, very cool. This thing is, I'm really just ansing to get this set up and to see what the features are on this bad boy. All right, so that's everything. That's your options. Again, you don't need these two side items. You can just get the lab and you got enough, but you're gonna have to just stick it in the ground and you're gonna have to provide the juice. Okay, let's get this set up. Let's get this going. Let's see what it can do. I'm really pumped to do it. So we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So I have gone with this option. Basically, solar panel, kind of out here in the uh, fringe of the yard. Um, so this is strictly being ran by solar power electricity. Um, as you can see here, I've got it, uh, the camera facing the sky. And uh, so what I hope to gain here, it is in range of my router. It is on kind of the, uh, eh, probably the last quarter uh, part of the uh, signal strength out here, so I'm kind of stretching it. But uh, as you can see, I do have it set up. I have got it, um, a dog in the picture now. Uh, she likes to check out things. But uh, anyway, so this is set up. Uh, it is gathering data. It is recording the sky for the time-lapse camera. And uh, I have downloaded the app and got it all configured. It was really super simple. Did not take long at all. Uh, within three minutes of putting this outside and going live, you should start seeing data come to your app. So we'll go and see what that looks like, but this is the setup, and again, um, all I did was stake it in the ground, uh, prop the solar panel up to the uh, spike here, plug it in, um, and we're good to go. Now I did configure it inside with the app on the Wi-Fi. You're supposed to do that within five feet of your router, uh, so you can just get a real clean setup and registration process. So. Uh, it did that and then brought it out and boom, we are up and running. So let's go in and take a look at the specs, the app, and what all we're going to get with this bad boy. Alright guys, welcome back. So a little bit of the specs on this Bloom Sky. So the camera, I just wanted to get this right, is an ultra wide angle fisheye camera built with a 49 degree adjustable shooting angle. The camera gives users real time imagery of the weather and gives them a better idea of the weather conditions of the area. Um, so that's a little bit of information on the camera. It doesn't go into like real uh, depth of like uh, resolution or anything. Um, here's how it does the rain. Uh, again, you can go to bloomsky.com, get all this information that you'd like. But you know, it's precipitation detector is uniquely designed to capture the first drops of even the most sudden showers in real time. Uh, so it's got that precipitation detector on it uh, that can tell you if it's raining or not. Again, UV. Temperature, humidity, pressure, all that good stuff uh, all built in. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the app itself. I'm going to launch it. I've downloaded it on the iOS App Store. So I'm going to launch Bloom Sky. Try to get it in frame. Now you can see the, the initial picture here. Now remember, we just plugged it into solar. We just got our very first reading. Um, and it's going to improve. So this has kind of got a little bit of a UV or ultraviolet look to it. Um, but uh, this is the first reading from the weather lab outside. And it says it's 65 degrees. Uh, it was 12.17 p.m. The precipitation it says 46% on the humidity. Uh, I guess the UV is low. And then I don't know what this 990 is yet. But uh, this is our first actual um, reading. Now what's cool is once you've got this registered, now if you see I can scroll through, I can see other ones. So here's from uh, somewhere in Missouri. This is Southwest Crystalline in Trumbull, Missouri. There's a live view of theirs. You can see theirs is starting to like, you know, show some fall, uh, clear sky there. Uh, Parkside Drive, Liberty, Missouri. So and if you want you can just click on it and go live there, see what the temperature is, the time, and some past history. Uh, and then you can actually follow it and uh, get like events and moments and stuff like that. So it's got that social media type of stuff too. Uh, here's Oregon, Peru, Nebraska. Um, then we got uh, somewhere else. So this is Salina, Kansas. So you can see it shows you the ones that are nearby, but you can actually go all over the world. I've seen them in New Zealand. Uh, I've seen them all over. Let's see if we can get a little further. Uh, so this is kind of doing it what's nearby. Let's go see if we can look at trends. Uh, there's some in California. Um, you know, there was one that had some snow on the ground. There's one 32 degrees. This is in uh, Truckee, California, Crown Circle, Broadway, San Francisco. There's New Zealand at night. Here's Barcelona uh, right there. And then if you hit play, it'll actually show you the time lapse 
and this is exactly what it's going to do for you. This one has a full day's worth, so I can hit it, and I can see the time lapse and what happened throughout the day. So there you go. Uh, this will, uh, you know, if you get a full day's worth, then that's what you can do. Now the camera does go to sleep at night to preserve power, especially if you got it on solar. Um, so you will not get any nighttime sky or anything like that. It will stop when the photo cell senses that it is pretty much daylight deprived. Uh, that's to conserve the battery power. So mine exit out there. It's charging now via solar. It's doing what it can. Um, like I said, I just got it going. I expect something much like that for the the uh, the day, and it'll show me you know a time lapse where the temperature was, all that good stuff. Tons of history, awesome stuff. This is cool, guys. If you're into weather, man, you got to get one of these bloom skies because I don't know of any of them out there that do these time lapse videos of the weather for you. And, and all this different reporting and you know you can look at all the different labs around you just totally cool stuff check the show notes for a link I'll have one there where you can pick this up not a real pricey uh, apparatus now if you go with the whole thing it's a little more pricey but again if you just want the weather lab you're gonna be able to give it juice um, and just use the steak you know, that's probably the easiest way to go um, I opted in I don't even know if I'm gonna use this mounting uh, bracket here I did not use it um, but uh, like I said I staked it in the ground now I'm gonna risk it with my dog she's an older dog but I don't think she's gonna tear it up um, she'd have to pull pretty hard and then that solar panel anchoring it down I don't think she's gonna be able to do anything with it except sniff it so there may be an update with a dog face in it during the time-lapse video anyway guys it's bloom sky bloomsky.com check them out uh, give them some love. This is definitely a really cool project and one I'm excited to monitor and have some more data uh, flow and then watch, you know, snowy days, sunsets, all that cool stuff. Just going to be completely cool about uh, the data that I'm going to be able to pull in with this guy. Okay, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscription to the channel, and as always, thanks for watching and have a good one.